Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are gonna show you some of the different ways that you can install NVMe solid state drives into a Precision T5820 workstation. These methods are also compatible with the Precision T7820 and T7920 workstation. These are the most common hardware devices that you would use to install an NVMe solid state drive into a Precision T5820, T7820, or T7920 workstation. The Dell Precision Ultra Speed Duo and Quad Adapters are great for users that have a need for multiple NVMe solid state drives. They also work well for users that don't already have a front NVMe backplane installed because you can easily add them into one of the open PCI Express slots onto your system board. Unlike most third-party NVMe adapters that work in these systems, these cards include a blower fan that will maintain the front-to-back cooling of your workstation. If you choose to use the PCI Express adapters, make sure to install your solid state drives incrementally starting with slot 0 or your solid state drives may not show up properly. This is a 3.5 inch NVMe adapter that would mount in one of the front drive slots. This device only works if you have an optional NVMe backplane installed in your system. We'll show you a closer look at the backplane later in this video. This is the NVMe holder that mounts inside the 3.5 inch adapter. We are going to quickly show you how to pull it apart and access the NVMe solid state drive that is inside of it. Next, we are going to show you how to check if your system has the NVMe backplane installed. The backplane is required for you to be able to use your system with a 3.5 inch NVMe adapter or with U.2 NVMe solid state drives. We ended up removing the fan assembly to give you a better look at the NVMe cabling and backplane. If you have the green planar board backplane and the cabling to the PCIe 0 and PCI 1 port on the system board, it means that you have the NVMe backplane installed. Next, we'll access the drive backplane from the front of the chassis. You'll have to make sure the front panel is unlocked before you can open it. This front view gives you a pretty good look at the difference between the standard backplane cable harness and the NVMe backplane. Also, keep in mind that the NVMe backplane will only work with NVMe solid state drives. So we are going to install some drives and then boot into the F2 setup to see if they all show up. The first drive we are going to install is a Samsung 800 gig NVMe U.2 solid state drive. The NVMe U.2 solid state drives can be plugged directly into the NVMe backplane. Then we'll install the Dell 1TB NVMe 3.5 inch adapter tray in the second NVMe slot, and we'll also put a 512 gig SATA solid state drive and an 18TB 7.2K SATA drive in the bottom standard backplane slots just for fun. We are going to quickly show you how you can remove the Dell 3.5 inch NVMe adapter. All you need to do is bend a paper clip straight and push it into the small hole in the bottom of the adapter. At the same time as pushing the paper clip in the hole, 
you can gently pull the adapter out of the slot. Next, we are going to install a Samsung 980 Pro 2TB NVMe solid state drive into the Dell Quad NVMe adapter. Then we are going to install it into one of our Precision T5820 I.O. slots. As a reminder, make sure you install your NVMe solid state drives in sequential order, starting with slot zero. Some of you might be wondering if the aftermarket PCIe NVMe adapters will work as well. The answer is yes, but some of them make it trickier to load your operating system. Next, we are going to boot into the F2 setup on our Precision T5820 workstation to see if the storage devices are all showing up. As you can see, under system information, our NVMe solid state drives are showing up as mass storage devices and the standard drives are showing up with the correct capacities. When we click on PCIe drives under system configuration, the NVMe solid state drives show up with the correct capacities. Lastly, we are going to run through some benchmark tests on the NVMe solid state drives. The first drive was the Samsung 800 gig NVMe U.2 solid state drive, which was also our boot device. Keep in mind that not all NVMe solid state drives are capable of running at the same speeds. Also, some systems will cause them to bottleneck and not achieve speeds posted by the manufacturer spec sheets. The second NVMe solid state drive that we will benchmark is the Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte in the Dell Quad NVMe adapter. We'll benchmark this drive again at the end of this video with the Dell 3.5 inch NVMe adapter to see if it achieves different speeds. This is the stock Dell 1TB Hynix NVMe in Dell 3.5 inch NVMe adapter benchmark. And finally, this is the second benchmark using the Samsung 980 Pro 2 terabyte NVMe solid state drive, but this time it is installed into the Dell 3.5 inch NVMe adapter. As you'll see, it gets almost identical speeds to when it was installed into the Dell Quad NVMe PCIe adapter. If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel and thank you so much for watching.